Hello viewers, welcome to this video. From the June update, uh, you have seen that uh, Samsung band selection app is not working. You can see the hidden network settings activity not found on your device. Uh, many of you uh, like me are uh, very frustrated, facing very frustrating situation for this reason. Uh, because we cannot uh, select and lock off our devices into the, our uh, desired bands. So, uh, so I have come with this idea. So, I hope uh, this may can help you. Uh, okay. Uh, so, let's start the video. Okay. So, first of all, we have to go to the Play Store. Okay. Then, search for alliance shield okay uh, uh, you can see the alliance ship app manager so you have to install this basically this app will help you to access all the hidden features of the samsung device but it requires uh, your admin privilege function and nox access okay uh, so just open then tap on next tap on next tap on next okay then tap got it so i have to put my username or password so i just pause the video for a while so after login uh, you have to put your device name oh be remember uh, that uh, before uh, the for the first time you need to register your device so how you can register uh, just click on the alliance.x.org and it, this will take you to the, the their site and they will ask for register after registration okay so here from here uh, you can you can register your uh, id and after registration and uh, verification link will go to your email address uh, you have to verify the link otherwise uh, your account will not work properly okay so let's get back to the main video so after login this will ask for your device name my device name is 22 ultra i just put it you can put anything then text next so now this is asking for your device admin permission so you have to give this otherwise this app will not work so you put you see this is asking this lot of uh, activities permission okay just tap active wait okay then click next now this will ask for your Knox permission you just give your Knox permission agree okay device knock license validation complete then tap on next now just click finish okay we just came here to the app manager section uh, now just tap on app manager you can see lots of activities here so I just put okay uh, this not work I just put uh, just a minute so you have to type this dot com dot uh, com dot samsung dot android dot app dot telephone y u i okay after typing this this you can find call settings just tap on it okay here you can see the your phone activities app just tap on activities and just go to the samsung android app telephone ui here in the last hidden network settings main activity just tap on it and it will ask for enable disable or open just you should click on open not enable or disable nothing you just click on the open here you can see 
now you can see the UDN network settings. I think you can remember this page. Okay, now band selection. Now select as like as you device desired. Uh, let me just show you is it working or not. Uh, I am using my default SIM as SIM 2. So let me check is it working or not. You can see uh, my second SIM is in connected in Volti. Now I am just connecting to the GSM 850. Let's start it. You can see the my second SIM Volti option is gone. Okay. So this app is working perfectly. So now still back on. So those who have earlier disabled their 5G bands uh, with the Samsung band selection app. Now you can, yes, uh, from this here you can see N1, NR, NR bands. These are 5G bands. Now you can enable it and unselect the unselection. Okay. So now put in automatic just in case or if you want to run this app permanently in your mobiles just keep it like this you can access it from anytime anywhere and for those who regularly frequently use the band selection app but cannot access uh, very fastly so there is a technique I can tell you just click on the recent okay and you can find the phones side and press skip open so this will lock on your recent activities if you close all the apps but still you will have this and from there you can access this uh, this is the most recent technique I can tell you right now uh, okay but uh, I don't have any other methods to keep it as in your home screen or your app drawer I hope this will help you a lot okay so thank you guys and please don't forget to subscribe my channel bye